Hello children, today we will do some small experiments with electricity. But a word of caution, please do not try this at your home without the supervision of an adult who knows about electricity. Let's see how a torch works. This is a torch. Let's open it from the top. Here there is two swells which we can insert in the torch. Let's insert it in any ways without giving us thought on which direction a cell goes. Now I close the bulb, tighten it a bit. And now I turn on the switch of the torch. Hmm, why is the bulb not glowing? Let's open the torch again to see if we have not connected the soils in a proper way? Yeah, that is the reason. We need to join the cells in a correct sequence. That is, negative end of one cell goes at the bottom, then its positive end, then connected to negative end of another cell, then its positive end, and then connected to bulb. So let's insert the cells in this way. Now close the bulb, Tighten it a bit. Let's turn on the switch. Hooray! The bulb is glowing. I can turn off the switch to turn off the bulb. I can turn it back again. Cool, isn't it? Now let's make a small torch ourselves. I have taken two cells, some wires, and we will make a circuit with this and try to light a bulb from the torch. Here is how the circuit will look. Two cells connected with a wire. One wire, say the positive end represented by red, going to one end of the bulb and then coming out from the other end of the bulb, going to the other wire of the cell, that is the negative end represented by black. So first I will connect the two cells inside a cell compartment back to back in a series. The positive terminal of the cell goes on this side and the negative end goes on the other side that is the spring side. As you can see both the cells form a part of the circuit with electric current trying to come out from this positive and negative end of the wire. Now I will connect the one end of the cell that is the positive end to one end of the bulb. Now I will connect the other end of the bulb to the other wire coming from the cell that is a negative end. We have a complete circuit and the bulb glows. Hooray! Now how do I turn it off? I need to remove a wire to make it open circuit. But will I do this kind of thing again and again? That is to turn on your light in the night I connect the wire and to turn it off, remove the wire? No, right? So let's use a switch. Now I will add a switch to the circuit. Now let us connect the wire coming out of the cell to one end of the switch. And the other end of the switch is connected to the bulb. I use electric tape as a safety precaution and the other end of the bulb is connected to the wire coming from the cell. If I turn on the switch, the current will flow and the bulb should glow, isn't it? Yes, that's how it happens, hooray! Now. Let's turn off the switch and see the bulb goes off. So the switch is controlling the current flowing from cell to the bulb. As you can see when the switch is turned off it breaks the connection of wire and hence no current flows to the bulb and hence the bulb doesn't glow. Switch is turned off is equivalent to saying 
the wire connecting the cells to bulb is now having a open path or it's not connected so for fun let's connect another appliance to this circuit now instead of bulb i will connect a small motor which has a fan or a circular ring on top of it i remove the bulb and just connect this motor two wires to the other two ends now as soon as i turn on the switch the circuit is completed the motor starts which rotates the above part of it and the small ring on top starts rotating isn't it beautiful children let's do one more thing instead of the ring let's connect this color disk and see what happens this color disk has three colors red green and blue on top of it now let's connect that ring on top of the motor let's turn on the switch oh wow it has become white why because as a rotation all colors got mixed to one and it becomes white color this you will learn more in the color and light video later this is it children i hope you enjoyed this word of precaution never take electricity lightly and don't experiment anything with it without adult supervision and taking proper care so stay safe children and have fun bye bye